and it's 102 CB improvement without spending any money. Isn't that awesome? Some of you guys wanted me to make a CPU overclocking video and one of you specifically asked me to make a overclocking video of Core i7-860 which is a fast generation Core i7 processor. It has 4 cores, 8 threads and uh, the base clock is 2.8 GHz and if you enable Turbo Boost you can get up to 2.9 GHz boost. So it's a compelling option for low-end or eSports gaming. The CPU you are watching behind me right now is made with that Core i7-860 processor and it's giving me a very good performance on eSports titles and also I can run Cyberpunk at 60fps with this processor at low settings. I am happy with that. You can have a decent performance from this processor in modern eSports titles like Valorant, Rogue Company, Fortnite, etc. And if you want to run Cyberpunk on this PC, you have to go for low settings. I am giving away this gaming keyboard as a giveaway. If you haven't participated yet, the deadline is on 15th February 2021. All you have to do to participate in this contest is to like this video, comment on the comment box and subscribe to this channel. That's all. Now let's get back to our main topic here. I'm going to show you guys how you can overclock your Core i7-860 processor with a very little effort. I'm going to make this video as simple as I can. So you just have to follow the instructions. That's all. I'm not going to make it very complicated. I'm going to make it as simple as I can. So you guys can do it easily. Why do you want to overclock your processor? To get some extra performance out of it, right? To overclock your processor, you have to be careful about few things like the CPU temperature. To keep the CPU temperature within a tolerable point, you have to always use a good CPU cooler. Even though you can overclock your processor with the stock cooler, but the temperature will be very high and you might ruin your processor. What you can do is to buy this kind of aftermarket cooler to keep the temperature within the tolerable point. I am using this Deepcool Gamax 400 CPU cooler which can keep this processor at 70 to 75 degrees Celsius at 3.5 GHz. So it's doing very good. At first I am going to benchmark this processor with the stock speed with Turbo Boost on to see how much score we can get in Cinebench R15. I'm running Cinebench R15 benchmark. And we got 445 Cinebench score. Now restart your computer, go to your BIOS and follow all the settings I do here, okay? Follow all the settings here. Sorry, my capture card didn't work well in this BIOS. So I was not able to capture. Now enable overclocking, CPU overclocking and uh, put your desired uh, clock speed. And I'm going to uh, set my RAM speed to 1600 megahertz. Now now press F10 and save your settings. It will restart your computer and all the settings will be saved. Let's get back to my capture card. Now I'm going to run Cinebench R15 again and we are running at 3.5 gigahertz here. I'm running a single core benchmark right now. We got a single core score of 108 and the multi core score of 547 CB. 
now I'm going to run uh, the OpenGL benchmark to see the gaming performance of this processor. As you guys can see, it's running very smoothly. Let's see how much score we get out of it. So now you guys can see we got uh, 89 FPS. Before overclocking, we got 445 Cinevenchi score. And after overclocking, we got 547 Cinevenchi score. And the temperature was below 70 degrees Celsius. So it's a very good performance by this processor and this CPU cooler. If you are already using a aftermarket cooler on your CPU, you should apply new thermal paste on the CPU die before overclocking your processor. So you can get better thermal performance out of it. So you guys can see I got a very good improvement from 445 CB to 547 CB. And it's 102 CB improvement without spending any money. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. So guys, if you haven't participated in this contest yet, go ahead and participate in it. The deadline is 15th February 2021. See you guys in the next one.